Hey, what's up guys? Ben here, Tactical Nutrition, where we are cutting through the matrix, breaking through the propaganda, getting to the bottom of how to be the best possible version of yourself through fitness, nutrition, etc. And in this video, it's going to be mainly a fitness video. Um, so there will be one nutrition product that I will touch on at the end. But um, besides that, it's just going to be strictly about improving your workouts and optimizing them. So before I get to do that, um, let's do the usual rigmarole, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps with a new channel like this. I only have about a little over 100 subscribers, so I'm not showing up in the algorithm that well. So anyway, what I want to talk about is fiber typing. Um, now, as usual, I do not like to get into the weeds with the science here, although I could, and I will a little tiny bit. But that's not the purpose of this channel. Anything you find interesting in these videos, guys, I make these videos in a, in a format so that if you, you know, I don't bring forward studies and things like that, things that I might have read like 20 years ago. If anything, I just want to pique your interest. If you hear something that's interesting, then go ahead and use the internet and use your research skills to find out more about it. Because one thing I don't do is I don't talk out of my ass. Anything I say on these videos is going to be able to be co corroborated online. That being said, fiber types, what are they? What am I talking about? Now, when I was in school, we learned that there was basically three fiber types in your muscles. So what it means, we're talking about the types of recruitment fibers in your muscles. So what do I mean by recruitment fibers? Different muscles and different parts of your body are going to be able to recruit muscle at a faster pace than others. Some are made for speed, like explosiveness and very short intensity, right? Like short, intense bouts. Think of a sprint versus a marathon, right? While some other muscles in your body are meant for endurance. For instance, like it would make sense that your calves would be built for endurance right? Because you're walking around all day. They're supporting your body weight all day. If they fatigued quickly, then you know, you'd walk around for 10 minutes, your calves would be sore. That wouldn't really make a lot of sense. So that is what we'd call a slow twitch fiber um, muscle. Now, that being said, muscles are made with um, combinations generally of these different fiber types. So when it comes to something like jumping high, you can also recruit, you can also modify and improve upon the fast twitch fibers in your calf muscle, your gastrocnemius, etc. But mainly that's going to be an endurance muscle. And this affects how you're going to train it, right? So let's look at a muscle like the glutes. The glutes is interesting because it's more of a it's more of a fast twitch fiber. Um, that because now you may be using it throughout the day if you have proper posture and you're walking properly and kind of flexing your butt cheeks and flexing your core as you walk around as you should be a little bit, not just slouching all the time and being limp. Yes, you are using your glutes, but, but generally your glutes are explosive. So that what I mean, like when you do sprints or when you do Olympic lifting, like cleans and snatches or even squats and obviously deadlifts your glutes are gonna be recruited a lot more, but they're meant for shorter term um, explosive exercise. So how does this pertain to your training? With a muscle like the glutes, you would generally want to do more explosive types of training. So what I like to do is things like kettlebell swings, or I mean, it's essentially kettlebell swings, because what you, when, you, when you pivot, and then you swing the kettlebell up and you squeeze your butt cheeks, you're exploding and you're producing a lot of force into the ground and uh, through your feet. And so that activates more of the glute fibers. This is how you glow, grow your glutes. Now, you, obviously there's, there's a lot of women out there that do these like ornate, very extravagant workouts where they do like 9 million things. And of course it's gonna have an effect, but generally speaking, your glutes are gonna be a fast switch fiber. Now your abs, for instance, are going to be, let's be honest, that's a slow twitch fiber. They're being used all the time. That's why you can do tons and tons and tons of crunches. You're rarely going to use your abs in an explosive manner. 
Now, they will be utilized in the movement. They're in every single movement, like an Olympic lift, a clean, a deadlift. Obviously, they're being used, but they're not a prime mover. I'm talking about the prime mover muscle. That's the muscle that's doing the work, not the stabilizing muscle, which in this case is your abs and your lower back. So your lower back, again, that's another one. You don't need to work your lower back explosively. That's not really what you want to do unless you want to get injured. But so there's fast twitch, which is explosive. Um, and then there's there's type 2 and type 2 A and B, I guess you could say. I would just call them fast twitch, mid twitch, and slow twitch, right? Because I think A and B, one of them is just straight slow twitch, and then one of them is a combination of the two. But for all practical, pr practical purposes, you can see there's a spectrum here. Not exactly cut and dry. But this does affect how you optimize your training. And the main thing I want to get through in this video here, after all this neandering, is that fast twitch fibers are the most prone for growth. Okay? So think about that. Fast twitch fibers. Now, fast twitch fibers work best when you utilize them at top speed. Most explosive, right? If you train slow, you move slow. You, if you train slow, let's say, for instance, you do RDLs or stiff-legged deadlift of something like that movement, and you're going slow on the way down and slow on the way up. Are you utilizing the glute muscle? Of course. Are you utilizing it optimally? Absolutely not, because you're not exploding. You're not using, you're not recruiting those, those, those fast, those super fast twitch fibers that are used in jumping and sprinting and things like that. They're not being recruited. It's like your body's recruiting different fibers of these muscles as you move from exercise to exercise and speed to speed. But a lot of people are training to where they're never actually hitting those fast twitch fibers those super fast twitch fibers, where it's 100% explosive. So here are several exercise, exercises you can do, um, especially as a warm up, but also you can throw them into your workouts to utilize the fast twitch fibers as much as possible. And mainly we're gonna focus on the legs because those are generally your fast twitch fiber muscles. Those are where the glutes, somewhat the quadriceps, um, but mainly the glute muscles, let's be honest, are, those are the fast twitch fiber muscles. And also you could, you know, in your mid back, things like that. But broad jumps, for instance, where you go back and you explosively jump as far as you can. You do that for like six to eight reps. Now here's something to remember about this. The reason I say six to eight and not 20 is because these are fast twitch fibers. They're not meant to be done for that many. You do them until you can't, until you've expelled the most explosiveness in your body. Like once you start training slower, once, once you're doing your broad jump and you start to like lose noticeable distance on the broad jump, you cut the set, right? You're not doing this for cardio. You're doing this for explosiveness. You're trying to recruit those explosive fibers. When you do this type of training with the explosion, then you want to rest a lot longer. Now, so so getting back to ideas. Broad jumps, box jumps, same thing. Um, you can just do tuck jumps. Basically, you see what I'm saying here is a lot of a lot of jumping. Um, you can put barbell back squat jump squats. Now, I would advise being very comfortable with your squat before you try these. You put the bar in your back. You go down. You obviously keep it light. You go down into the bottom of the squat. You come up explosively. You explode out of the bottom under control. Under control, explode, jump as high as you can with the bar, land softly, cushion back into the next one. So you can, exp and then another one would be cleans, um, Olympic lifting, one of my favorites. Now, most people don't know how to do Olympic lifting properly, so you really want to learn this stuff. But once you learn how to do cleans, you can do sets of six, five or six, where with a, light, with a lighter weight, let's say 135 pounds if you're a guy, and you explode as much as you can, right? Explode the hips, catch the bar, and go into the next rep. And again, see how I'm always going to five to six. This is going back to the rep ranges from the NSCA guidelines, where five to six is right in about the strength power region. Like if, if, 
if you're able to, let's say you're doing cleans, if you're able to do more than six, if you're able to do 12 and still be explosive, you need to increase the weight, right? If you're able to do these broad jumps, you can, you could add a weight vest. You could hold a plate in your hand while you do the broad jump. See how like one of the concepts, and I know I'm cramming a lot into this video, um, so if you need more, leave a comment below. I'd be happy to com comment and explain a little bit more, but what we're doing here is you want to increase the weight to the point where you can move, you can move as fast as possible with a heavier weight and you would increase that over time. So what happens is if, if you can do the same weight and this is a powerlifting like competition powerlifting uh, protocol as well, speed, speed day, where if you can do the same weight faster, then you're, you're actually increasing your power output and you're, you're more powerful, right? It's, it's like using our old physics equations. What is it? I can't remember. Power equals force times, like whatever, mass times acceleration, something like that. So if you increase the acceleration but the mass stays the same, you're still increasing your force output. If that makes sense. Now, what you want to find, what you want to stop, not do is get to the point where you're, you're moving slow. You're too heavy with the clean and now you're struggling to get it up. I mean, unless you're like training for a competition and you're going for a one rep max or something like that, obviously the rules are never steadfast, but that's how the fast twitch fibers work. Now here's, just to end this video, here's a great little strategy to make sure you hit all your fiber types, okay? What you do is you do circuits. Let's say you're doing legs, which is, I always focus on legs, right? What you would do is this. Let's say you, first you start the, the circuit off with six to eight explosive broad jumps as far as possible, as explosive as possible, right? You're done with those. Now you grab the kettlebell and you go into 15 swings with a heavy kettlebell. You start to increase the reps. Now you're hitting the more type 2A fibers. After you do that, then maybe you go into reverse lunges for a set of like 30, you know, with 15 per leg. Do you see what I'm doing here? The first exercise is more for power, so there's lower reps. The second one is a little bit a little bit more endurance based. So you're using more reps and a little bit lighter weight. And then the third one is where you hit the endurance fibers. And voila, you've hit all your fibers and you'll get maximum muscle growth. Anyway, guys, so that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll talk a lot more about this stuff in the future. If you can, again, like, leave a comment on the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, do whatever. But, um, tacticalnutrition.net check out my custom programs on there you can contact me there where we do a 15 minute phone call i've got three different programs available along with some nutrition plans but anyway on that i will talk to you guys in the next video peace out